Olivine is an example of a nesosilicate mineral. And nesosilicate minerals are characterized by an SiO4 tetrahedra, which is shaped like this. We've got a silicon atom in the center, and on the outer edges we've got four oxygen atoms and one behind the silicon here. In uh, SiO4 tetrahedra has a charge of minus four, so we need to balance that with a cation with a charge of plus four. In the case of olivine, that role is filled by either two atoms of iron or two atoms of magnesium or one of each, which has a charge of plus four. So that the whole molecule has a neutral electrical charge. In a nesosilicate mineral, uh, these tetrahedra uh, SAO4 tetrahedra never touch each other. They're all bonded together by these cations right here. And so this will be bonded to this cation and this cation will be bonded to another tetrahedra over here which will have its own uh, cations bonding it to other olivine atoms. And this is the structure we can expect to see in any nesosilicate mineral. Alvine forms via fractional crystallization in intrusive basalts. In these igneous intrusions, olivine is the first mineral to crystallize and nucleate out of the melt. An example of this can be seen in the Palisade cells on the banks of the Hudson River. So, what can people do with olivine? It doesn't spring to mind immediately when people think of useful minerals. But olivine does benefit our society in several ways, and not only by holding us up by its extensive presence in the mantle. One example is olivine's use in the steel industry, where olivine sand is one possible component of the process used to transform iron ore to steel. In fact, the steel manufacturing industry is the main customer of the olivine industry. And yes, there is an olivine indus industry. Norway is the world's top olivine producing country, followed by Japan at a distant second. Other than steel making, olivine is also used as an abrasive on sandpaper, for example, due to its having a hardness of 7 on the most scale, and it's also uh, one possible ingredient in the manufacture of bricks. Olivine also has certain aesthetic applications. The gemstone peridot is nothing other than a large polished olivine crystal, and so olivine has a part to play in jewelry making as well. 